Welcome to Mary's True Crime Channel here on YouTube. As always, click like, subscribe, and the notification bell over to your corner. Um, as you know, I discuss criminal cases, and I'm always on the side of the victim. I try to be their voice as best as possible in discussing every single criminal case on my channel. And today's target is a sexual predator, and his name is Jeffrey Epstein, who now currently sits in the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Manhattan. Yes, he's a billionaire, friends with powerful people in the political realm, but I will not get into politics when it comes to discussing this case, but it might have something to do with how his original case was adjudicated and pretty much sealed, and where a non-prosecutorial agreement was reached without the input of those 40 girls. And I believe that the FBI should have jurisdiction over this case because it dealt with Florida, New York, New Mexico, and the Caribbean. I'm going to read you highlights of this case, and it sickens me. The wealthy financier and convicted sex offender has been arrested in New York on sex trafficking charges. Two law enforcement officials said Epstein was taken into federal custody Saturday, July 6, 2019, on charges involving sex trafficking allegations that date to the 2000s, wealthy financier and registered sex offender Jeffrey Epstein was arrested Saturday in New York on new sex trafficking charges involving allegations that date to the early 2000s, according to law enforcement officials. This monster never changed his stripes. This is what he is about, targeting young people young girls for prostitution and he should not be treated any differently if I'm angry yeah you bet when it comes to the targeting of minor children for sex I always get angry because I don't feel any of these predators are being rightfully handled by our judicial system He had many powerful people that he knew within the political realm and the financial world, but he is just a lowlife like any other sex offender. One of the officials said Epstein is accused of paying underage girls for massages and molesting them at his home in Florida and New York. Two states. That's why, why I think that the FBI needs to take jurisdiction over this case immediately. The officials spoke on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to discuss the pending case. Well, at least we have something out there to discuss and to adjudicate this case. A message was sent to Epstein's defense attorney seeking comment. Epstein is being held at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Manhattan, according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons website. Good. That's where he belongs. He belongs with his own kind, not out here in the world. And being able to live large due to his financial backing, Epstein's arrest first reported in by the Daily Beast comes amid renewed scrutiny of a once secret plea deal that ended a federal investigation against him. Secret plea deal. How far did his prostitution ring go? That deal, which is being challenged in Florida federal court, allowed Epstein, who is now 66, to plead guilty to lesser state charges of soliciting and procuring a person under the age of 18 for prostitution. This man has been walking free all of this time. Averting a possible life sentence, 
which he should have been, locked up for life, Epstein was instead sentenced to 13 months in jail. The deal also required he reach financial settlements with dozens of his once teenage victims and register as a sex offender. Big deal. That is not justice. That is shutting up the victims by paying them off. And that is not justice in our society. Epstein's deal was overseen by former Miami U.S. Attorney Alexander, Alexander Acosta, who is now Trump's labor secretary. Acosta has defended the plea deal as appropriate under the circumstances, though the White House said in February that it was looking into handling the handling of this deal. So how was it appropriate? How was this NPA appropriate in dealing with this sexual predator? It wasn't. They were looking the other way as victims still suffered. As they said, the past cannot be undone. The government committed itself to the NPA, and the parties have not disputed that Epstein complied with its provisions. The past can very well be undone by the victims being brought into focus right now to rip up this NPA because they were never notified nor brought into the process into adjudicating this case. They acknowledged, however, that the failure to consult victims fell short of the government's dedication to serve victims to the best of its ability, and the prosecutors should have communicated with the victims in a straightforward and transparent way. Yes, they should have. And now I hope that this NPA is ripped up where he can then be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, where he can be sent to prison for the rest of his miserable life. According to the court records in Florida, authorities say that at least 40 underage girls were brought to Epstein's Palm Beach mansion for what turned into a sexual encounter after female fixers looked for suitable girls locally and in Eastern Europe and other parts of the world. I wonder if Interpol has anything on Epstein. Don't you want to know? And I think only by fully prosecuting this case to its fullest will we find out. U.S. Senator Ben Sass released a statement Saturday calling for Epstein to be held without bail pending trial. This is what Ben Sass had to say. This monster received a pathetically soft sentence last time, and his victims deserve nothing less than justice. Justice doesn't depend upon the size of your bank account. And I believe in this case, where he was handled very softly by the judicial system. His finances had everything to do with it. He is not unlike other predators that are out there preying upon our children. He is very much like Shane Peach, who got away with it, and Michael Wislowski, who also got away with it. He is like the hundreds of predators out there targeting underage girls for prostitution and even young boys. And their, inter their connections go worldwide where children are being bought and sold at the drop of a hat. This monster deserves the full wrath of our judicial system where he will go away to prison for life, hopefully in a maximum security setting. How could he be given such a lesser sentence? How could we even think, or the judicial system at that time even think, 
a sex offender registry was appropriate for this monster where he had ties to Europe, where that is where many of his victims were coming from. Folks, this is what gets to me about sexual predators, is that we are treating them with kid gloves, and especially in this case. Jeffrey Epstein is a sexual predator. That's it. I don't care what his finances are. I don't care who he knows. But he deserves to be treated harshly and incarcerated for the rest of his life. I know I keep repeating myself, but this is where I feel that the justice system betrayed these 40 girls who are left to deal with this for the rest of their lives. What must their lives be like right now? To Jeffrey Epstein, I hope you go away for a long time and face prison time with its harsh conditions and where you will never be a person again with power. Folks, I thank you for listening to me today, and let's hope that Jeffrey Epstein faces justice. Thank you very much.